Matthew Perry's death was already devastatingly too soon, but then his final Instagram post hit unbearably close to home. And he wasn't the only deceased celeb whose social media post has broken our hearts. When Robin Williams died by suicide at the age of 63 in 2014, it hit hard for his legions of fans. There was no news of any mental health struggles that he was facing, so the fact that he killed himself was especially shocking. Followers of his Instagram probably didn't suspect that anything was amiss behind the scenes, as his final post was a birthday wish to his beloved daughter Zelda. Alongside a throwback photo of the two of them, he wrote, Happy birthday to Ms. Zelda Ray Williams, quarter of a century old today, but always my baby girl. Love you. This heartfelt post was made just 12 days before Williams died on August 11th. In the following years, it was revealed that he was posthumously diagnosed with Lewy body dementia, which can cause difficulty in cognitive and motor functions. The 2018 documentary, Robin Williams, Come Inside My Mind, featured an old interview in which he said, I guess I fear my consciousness becoming not just dull, but a rock. I couldn't spark. In light of his diagnosis, it's clear that that was exactly what he was facing. The original Star Trek series simply wouldn't have been the same without Michelle Nichols as Lieutenant Uhura. In addition to paving the way for black actresses, there was also some very real-world space work on her resume, as she teamed up with NASA in an effort to attract more women and minorities to the space program. Nichols died at the age of 89 on July 30, 2022, with her son announcing her death the following day. The news made her final Instagram post especially bittersweet. She'd posted a photo of herself in costume for Star Trek Renegades while giving the famous Vulcan salute along with the caption, This is it, my final performance Renegades Aminara. It was the end of an era in sci-fi history that almost didn't happen. Nichols' obituary in the New York Times shared a story about how she actually resigned from Star Trek after the first season wrapped. The person who talked her out of that decision was none other than Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., whom she recalled telling her, For the first time, we will be seen on television the way we should be seen every day. I didn't leave. I couldn't leave. The rest is history. When the news broke that Paul Walker had been killed in a high-speed car accident, it was especially chilling in light of his most famous movie role. And that's also where his final Instagram post comes in. It was a black-and-white photo of himself with his co-stars Tyrese Gibson and Vin Diesel, promoting the upcoming Furious 7, along with the caption, the boys are back. Will you be ready? Walker's longtime friend Roger Rodas, who was driving during the accident, was also killed. When the crash happened, the car was going about 100 miles per hour, and dental records had to be used to positively identify the bodies. Drugs and alcohol were determined not to be a factor. The movie was finished with the help of Walker's brothers, and it ended on a rather bittersweet note, as Walker and Diesel's characters rode alongside each other for one last time. Home. Worries always belong. Nikki Acox made her name in several cult classic TV shows, but she was probably best known as Meg Masters on Supernatural. When she died at the age of 47 on November 16, 2022, it may have come as a bit of a surprise for those who weren't following her on Instagram. But for those who had been, they had a sense of what was going on from her final post, from March 25th of that year. It was a video of Acox singing the White Snake song, Here I Go Again, and laughing as she tried to remember the lyrics. She explained her difficulty in the caption, as she wrote, Do not attempt to sing 80s music after taking high doses of chemo. Will cause memory loss. Literally got not one lyric correct. A year earlier, Acox offered her followers a candid reveal at her leukemia diagnosis, which came after she was hospitalized with what she thought was a severe case of COVID-19. Among those who paid tribute to her was Supernatural creator Eric Kripke, who declared, She was a light and delivered lines like honey and venom. During his time in the spotlight, Michael K. Williams was incredibly candid about his experiences with drugs and addiction. During a 2012 interview with NJ.com, he talked about how he was in the middle of filming The Wire when he found himself growing more and more desperate to find his drugs of choice, usually cocaine. As he admitted, I was playing with fire. It was just a matter of time before I got caught. Or worse, I ended up dead. When I look back on it now, I don't know how I didn't end up in a body bag. I finally said, I can't do this no more. I didn't want to end up dead. After Williams was found dead at the age of 54 on September 6, 2021, the official cause was an accidental overdose of four substances, fentanyl, p-fluorofentanyl, heroin, and cocaine. His passing happened just days after he posted a video on Instagram that's eerie in hindsight. 
It was a repost of a TikTok featuring an interview with comedian Tracy Morgan on the radio show The Breakfast Club. As Morgan declared, Don't cry for me, okay? I had a misfortunate accident. Don't cry for me. Cry for others, man. My grandmother told me that when you think you're doing bad, there's always somebody out there worse. You know what true happiness is? Having something to look forward to. When Treat Williams was killed in a motorcycle accident at the age of 71 on June 12, 2023, it was a death that quite literally came out of nowhere. The actor was hit by a car and then airlifted to a hospital in Albany, New York, where he died from his injuries. The shocking accident happened just hours after he posted a series of photos and videos on Instagram showing off his Vermont farm in its summertime glory. One photo taken from a tractor featured the simple caption, There is no better smell than new mown hay. When Williams' family took over his account after his passing, they explained that they were going to keep the farm going and continue to share footage of the place to his followers. Back in 2021, the Connecticut-born Williams told Vermont Magazine, Every day I wake up so grateful to see the view that I see out of my window and to be living up here. I think very few people are lucky as I am to say, I love where I live. I don't have any fantasies of being somewhere else. I have everything I want and need in Vermont. I've been all over the world, and I've never seen a place as beautiful as Vermont. When Glee actor Naya Rivera took her then four-year-old son Josie out boating on a California lake in July 2020, it should have been a lovely summer afternoon. Instead, Josie was later discovered alone, and his mother's body was only recovered after a five-day search. It was later determined that she had drowned on July 8th. Official reports suggested that the combination of effects from a sinus infection and chronic vertigo played a part in her death. A wrongful death lawsuit settled in 2022 also blamed a lack of safety equipment in the rented boat. On July 7, Rivera posted what would be her final photo to Instagram. It was a candid shot of her and Josie embracing, along with the caption, Just the two of us. A few days earlier on July 2, Rivera had also posted a photo of herself smiling with the caption, No matter the year, circumstance, or strifes, every day you're alive is a blessing. Make the most of today and every day you are given. Tomorrow is not promised. Few sitcoms have had quite the enduring popularity as friends. So when Matthew Perry died at the age of 54 on October 28, 2023, millions of fans suddenly found themselves in mourning. The actor had been open about his struggles with mental health and addiction. His death from drowning happened as a result of a combination of factors, including ketamine use, coronary artery disease, and opioid use. Perry drowned in a hot tub, which made his final Instagram post eerie in hindsight. Just five days before he died, he shared a photo of himself relaxing in a massive hot tub, along with the caption, Oh, so warm water swirling around makes you feel good? I'm Matman. The photo provided an uncomfortably personal glimpse into Perry's final moments. When the news broke of his passing, it understandably took a few days for his friend's castmates to issue a statement. When they did, it was appropriately heartfelt as they declared, we were more than just castmates. We are a family. He was part of a family, and he was the first one to not be part of that family anymore. When December rolls to an end, plenty of people the world over start making plans and promises for the new year. On January 1, 2024, that sentiment was at the heart of German actor Christian Oliver's last ever Instagram post. He shared a photo of a beach, palm trees, and a boat floating in peaceful tropical waters, along with the caption, Greetings from somewhere in paradise. To community and love. 2024, here we come. Oliver was killed in a plane crash on January 4th, along with his two young daughters. The final update to his Instagram was posted on January 16th, sharing more details about what had happened. He and his daughters went out on one last fishing trip before the end of their vacation, and they chartered a small plane with a pilot he met at a local dive shop. That update also included the last photo of Oliver ever taken. Kelly Preston's death on July 12, 2020, at the age of 57, seemed to have come out of nowhere. It wasn't until her husband, John Travolta, revealed more details that it became widely known that she'd been diagnosed with breast cancer two years earlier. He thanked her doctors, as well as the friends and family members who had been there for her throughout the years. Kelly's not waiting for life to happen to her. She creates life as she wants to have it. It was family that was first and foremost in Preston's own final Instagram post. On June 21st, 2020, she shared two photos of her loved ones along with the caption, Happy Father's Day to the best one I know. We love you. The first photo was a recent family selfie, while the other was a black and white picture of Travolta and their late son Jet, 
who died of a seizure in 2009 at the age of 16. Preston's death wasn't the first time that someone close to Travolta had succumbed to cancer. Back in 1977, his girlfriend Diana Highland also died after being diagnosed with breast cancer, and the following year, his mother passed following a cancer diagnosis. Tyler Sanders was only 18 years old when he posted what would be his final photos to Instagram, as he shared a few pictures from a deck overlooking some mountains. Dressed in a blue suit that matched the sky above, he captioned the post with one word, styling. That was on June 12, 2022. He died four days later. It wasn't until December that the Los Angeles Medical Examiner released the official findings, confirming that Sanders had been another casualty of the fentanyl crisis. Since his death, his parents, David and Ginger, have spoken out about the dangers of the drug. They've been candid about their son's struggles, saying in a statement, Tyler fell into drug use, not as a way to have fun socially, but rather as an attempt to overcome his profound mental health struggle. They also stressed that these difficulties could happen to anyone anywhere, while adding, it is our sincere prayer that our story might save others. If you or anyone you know needs help with addiction issues or is struggling or in a crisis, contact the Substance Abuse and Mental Health Services Administration website or contact SAMHSA's National Helpline at 1-800-662-HELP-4357.